Okay. So now we want either 84 to 87 or 91 to 142, which will keep large spike in play. If it's between 84 and 87, all possibilities are still possible. If it's between 91 and 142, it eliminates all but two possibilities, one of which is a large spike and the other one is a small spike. Obviously, large spike is ideal. Small spike, at least we would profit. Diva. The good news is, is there's no result here that eliminates large spike. No possible outcome that will eliminate large spike. 85. Do you? The people want to see it, do they? And by the people, you mean like my staff, right? Like you and Chelsea and Zane and Matt. I don't think anyone else besides that group of people want to see me play Valorant. I could be wrong. I already looked at what the turnip price was. Yeah, 85. Okay. How many likes on TikTok? <laughs> so what are you, you going to do? You're going to post a TikTok video asking for likes so that I have to play Valorant with you? I don't know. If I ask for some astronomical number and you get it, you might become too famous on TikTok and might not want to then deal with the small people like myself. Would I, though? Oh, I see. The astronomical growth? Um... Hold that thought. You only have 19 more followers than I do. Just for the record. Oh, there you go. See, you, you beat me to that. Astronomical. <laughs> 
Now, on the upside, if you remember, like la- when you first brought this up, I did say that even if you combined all of our followers together, you still wouldn't get three hundred. But that's not true anymore. You actually would get three hundred. <laughs> But on on TikTok, if we're talking TikTok likes, I mean, it's it's got to be a huge number for likes. Like if we're if we're actually gonna do this, if we're actually gonna say like, okay, we're gonna put out a TikTok video, and and I'm gonna do this if we get X amount of whatever. Then it's got it's got to be in in like insane number sure 3 million is light work do you have any video on tiktok that has 3 million even 3 million views let me ask you that question i don't need like not even 3 million I have a TikTok with 30 views. Is that is that your highest view on a TikTok video? I I find that hard to believe. I'm sure you've got at least one TikTok video that's hit a thousand views at least. One thousand six hundred and six is your highest, eh? Uh, what's my highest? Uh, well, I've got one there that's one thousand nine hundred thirty-six. Is that my high that might be my highest one. Oh shit. Dude, I've got a video that's got fourteen thousand views. <laughs> Yeah, fourteen thousand. I've got a I've got a video that's got fourteen thousand views. That one thousand nine hundred whatever is the next closest. How many followers do you have on TikTok? Your most likes is 176. I'll be honest, I don't know what... Oh yeah, no. That's just it. Lately, the only thing I've been posting is just me doing... Uh, some of those stupid uh, games and stuff like that that they've they've been showing up a lot on the for you pages. Most of those might get like a hundred or so views, and that's about it.
So yeah, okay. I'll if you if you put up a TikTok video that explains that you're trying to get the whole staff, like all your coworkers at GameStop to play Valorant together. And that the only you can say like the only holdout so far is the manager and he said he'll play if this video gets three million likes. Of course, how do I know you're not going to just create three million accounts and like the video yourself? Because I don't put that past you to do something like that. I'm sure at least 60 out of your 160 fo followers are probably just accounts you made up, I'm sure. Yeah, you're the yeah. Of course, you're the charity, dude. We're all broke. Eighty two. Well, sure, everybody can afford Spooderman, but can you afford Spider-Man? <laughs> hey, Peter Parker is just a broke kid from Queens himself, so... Where am I going? Pooter Porker. Spider Pig, Spider Pig. Does whatever a spider pig can. Can he swing from a web? No, he can't, because he's a pig. Okie dokie. Again? Or, I was going to say, or did you just not fix it yet? <laughs> You crazy. Crazy Shane 7. That means there was six other sh Crazy Shanes before you. Seventy-eight. Oh my god. 
the chances of getting a large spike keep decreasing with every we're down to a 50.6% chance okie dokie I'm going to keep telling myself that the longer it pushes back the large spike from happening through the week, it just means that the large spike is going to be that much greater when it actually happens. Meaning much closer to that 606. the bleeding stop oh god decreasing is now the most likely outcome Walking down the street.
Big yawn. Big yawns. We're running out of options. So, just for clarity's sake, there's still a 3.58% chance of a small spike, a 35.1% chance of a large spike, and a 61.4% chance of a decreasing. If it's between 65 and 68, those odds will decrease and increase not in my favor. And there will literally be only three po there's currently uh, five possible outcomes two of which will result in a small spike, two that results in a large and one that would result in the decreasing. If it's between 65 and 68, all three options would still be in play but decreasing would now be probably like close to like an 80% chance of happening. If it's between 91 and 142, we beat the odds of a decreasing because decreasing would be now off the table. And it would then become more or less a 50-50 chance at a large or small spike. It won't be. It will it will it will be a more in favor of a large spike, but still there will only be two possible outcomes if it's between 91 and 142. And this is just the selfish me part speaking now. As much as it would be nice to eliminate decreasing and get it off the table right now, I kind of want to go one more because if if we get 91 to 142 right now, yes, decreasing is off the table. But if it ends up being a large spike, the large spike ends up being on the Friday a.m. I would prefer it to be on the Friday p.m. But that also means keeping decreasing going for one more check after this one. Well... <laughs> Looks like we're playing that game anyways. Oop. So, the odds are now. <laughs> There's only three possible outcomes. So the Thursday PM...
could be between 91 and 142. And it could be a small spike still, which would top off at about 202 on the Saturday AM max, minimum 141. On the Saturday AM, which is when the small spike would happen. And there's only a 2.2% chance of that happening. It could also be 91 to 142. And end up being the large spike, which would happen on Friday PM, which would be a low of 202 and a high of 606. That has a 21.7% chance of happening at this point. However, if it's between 60 and 63 on the Thursday PM, it will be a decreasing week. It will only keep going lower, which means I have no chance selling turnips on my own island to make my money back. And there is a 76.1% chance that that's going to happen. So the odds are not anywhere close to being in my favor. They were when the week started, but it's just been working against me the whole time. So this will be moment of truth number one. coming up guess I should start looking for an island to possibly join that's open is at 180 which would be a profit not a huge profit but a profit nonetheless definitely not ideal Well, it's over. Uh... That is most unfortunate. I think this island's my only option, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> 